Okay, hey Paper House fans, it is Christine, and sorry for all the technical difficulties thus far. Hopefully we're at the end of them. Um, we're, as always seems to happen when I do a live, we're, we're battling a storm outside. So, um, we're going to do the best we can and hope it works. So, it's been a while since I've done a Scrapbooking 101 video for you, so I thought I'd hop on tonight and do a new one. So, what we're going to be doing is using a sketch. This was created by Lisa, who is one of our creative team members, and I've actually been working with this sketch all month long. So, this is the 11th layout I've done with it. Um which has been a really interesting approach to scrapbooking for the month. If you want to check that out, you can see it over on my YouTube channel. Um, and you can see all the different ways I've created with it. So today I'm going to be using the Paper House um, Stargazer collection, which is just a gorgeous collection. And crazy enough, I haven't done much with it. I did see my daughter in this shirt and realize this... This outfit was made for the Stargazer collection. Just look at how perfectly it matches up with that paper. So we're gonna create a layout using that. So tonight I'm gonna to create a unique background to go along with this sketch and then actually building the rest of it will be really simple after that. So I got started ahead of time and what you can see is I've got a whole bunch of pieces here that are cut into a starburst shape. Now. This would be a nightmare to come with, up with on my own or without an electronic cutting machine. But look at the backside. This paper is already in starburst form. So you can see how it is absolutely perfect for flipping it over and cutting. And then I will be able to mimic the tie dye look on her shirt. So I've cut all this out and I'm going to start assembling it. What I'm going to do is I am going to pull out every other ray um and i'm not going to worry too much about how tight i get it in the middle because the middle is going to all be covered up by the picture so i'm going to just set that there so i can get a feel for where things land Let's see if i can do this without messing the whole thing up too much <laughs> not even that clumsy but goodness it's a little complicated when you're working with starbursts okay so that one can come out we're done there and I did originally think I was going to go ahead and cut it every two, um, two wide. So do like one, two, one, two, one, two, but it was too much white. So I decided I didn't want to do that. I wanted to actually do it the full smaller rays. Okay. So you can see. This is a little bit tedious, but I think in the end you're going to see like it's totally worth it. Just makes such a cool background and is super trendy right now. Um, as with all things in paper crafting, the trends come and go. And so it's kind of fun when something like this comes back around because it's just a fun style to play in. Like I said, this is the Stargazer collection, which came out... Um, about a year and a half ago, approximately, um, we had it in the planner section already, but then it came out with scrapbooking papers about a year and a half ago, and I haven't played with it a ton, um, partially just because we don't wear a lot of purple in our house, um, and, but I've been looking for the opportunity to play with it, so this was the perfect chance to work with it. I'd love to hear who's who else is scrapbooking this Friday night. I know here in Ohio we are beginning to get the remnants of Hurricane Laura so we've got a big stormy mess outside so I think despite high school football supposed to be starting. Um, it might not be starting so well tonight. Um, so a lot of people are probably home and hanging out a little bit more than originally expected for a late August evening. Around here, most of our schools are back in session. I don't know how many of you are back in session or are you hybrid or what's your situation? I'd love to hear that down below too because we are 
always curious where people are at here at Paper House because we're all spread out too. Across the country, we've got our creative team from all over the country and all over the coasts, everything. Um, as well as our headquarters in New York in the Hudson Valley. And then, like I said, I'm in Ohio. So we've got a different, different setup, I think, for most of the country right now. I do know that lots more of you have been scrapbooking lately. Uh, we've definitely picked up on that, and that is fun to know. Now, yes, this has taken a while, but you can see too, it's not, it's not taking an incredible amount of time for creating a cool background and you can see it already coming together really nicely. I'm hoping that I have the right number of rays here and they don't, uh, go, uh, that I don't have an odd number. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm not sure about at the moment. We'll see how it turns out. And if I do, I'll, I'll readjust accordingly. The other day I was actually looking for a paper that had a sunburst on it. So it's kind of funny that I ended up finding this one kind of by accident as I was looking at this collection tonight. Almost there. Skip that one. Put that one on and it looks like we're going to be in luck and end up just perfect. So I'll pull that one back up. Okay, so you can see really cool background um, with very minimal work. Literally just took this paper, cut it, flipped it over. Okay, and the absolute perfect match for these pictures of my beautiful daughter. So the next thing I'm going to do, continuing on with the sketch, and from here it's really simple because the sketch is all laid out for me. So I am going to bring in a couple solid color card stocks. At this point you've got so many patterns, or so much of a pattern going on, you don't want to add in another layer of patterns because it's just going to be too much. So I'm going to layer these pictures onto this purple card stock. And kind of try and center them. And get them trying to keep my top and bottom even, trying to keep how much they overlap even. Little details like that because I've got a very even, well spaced layout right now, so I don't want to mess that up with wonky lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this blue paper also behind it and you can see it's just barely going to pop out just add a little touch and that is to fit with this paper that goes right here this purple one is here and then i've got my two pictures so i will get that on and again i'm going to try and get as even as possible so like right now i'm looking at this I'm looking at this to make sure that those are even. Um, little details like that can really make a layout look polished. Uh, you can also see that I matted my pictures in white. That will make them pop off the page a little bit more. Now, the next thing is really the final steps, and that's going to be add the title and add some embellishing. I will journal later on. Um, I am going to go ahead and skip this strip right here because I've got too many lines going already. I don't want to make it confusing. And then let's go ahead and I've got some options for my title here. Um, I like this smile word that's puffy stickers. So that might be a possibility. And I just cut that out and kind of set it there. Okay, yeah, so that is really fun. And I could also use awesome down below. What I'm doing right now is just cutting them out of the acetate. Okay, so the awesome has an arrow that is pointing the wrong direction. So I would need to cut that off if I'm gonna use awesome down there. Um, those could definitely work. I've got these stars for embellishments. 
And then I've got a couple more cardstock sticker sheets, which this dream big might also work, but it might be too much color in the end. I kind of just, yeah, I think I actually like the smile bigger or the smile better. <laughs> um, so I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and add smile on. Now, this is always a little tricky to get back on there straight. So what I'm going to do, and this is not foolproof, so <laughs> you can laugh at me if it doesn't go well. Um, I'm going to just kind of trim underneath. So you can see I just pulled up the bottom half of the stickers. And then I will add them right there. Push that bottom down. And then try and see, and then one popped up. But at least hopefully I've got most of them on there. Try and <laughs> pull that back up. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work terribly great. But <laughs> um, <laughs> like I said, you can laugh at me. Sometimes it works really well, other times not so much. Okay, so I've got Smile on there, and you can see these are puffy stickers. Let me just pull this up closer so you can really see how they've got cool dimension and they're just fun to play with. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just cut off that arrow. I'm going to cut it off right at the bottom of the E. And that is all one word, so I don't have to worry about that being straight. And I will just add that right on there. Now I am using some dotted cardstock, so it is giving me some good lines to follow as well. Okay. And if I'm not seeing your comments, I will come back and comment at the end of the video, just so you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> knee deep in the creating. So I can't always, I don't always see the comments as they come up. So the final step really is just to add some embellishments. Now you can see I've already got a really fun, clean and simple layout. So I'm going to pull some of these stars out. And kind of figure out which ones will work where. And you can see with the gold foil outline on these, they will work really nicely to pop off. And I will also probably put some of them up more with some 3D stickers. I think ultimately what I'm going to do maybe is kind of build a whole diagonal set of stars going up and down. So... Some of them I will go ahead and add on there nice and flat. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> I never actually secured this on there. Better do that. Okay. Okay, so now, if I wanted to add some dimension to these, I would go ahead and just pull out some 3D foam squares. And I can make these pop up. In fact, I even have some 3D foam stars, so I'm gonna actually use those to help save some time. I'm gonna just pop some of these up. Not all of them, just some of them. And then it's a matter of figuring out design wise where they look the very best. This one I'm going to pop up to. One of the things that's really nice about working with a sketch is that you can eliminate that part of the design portion. You don't have to think too hard about what you're going to do and where because that part's already done for you. So that allowed me the time to be able to come up with a creative and fun background. 
um, instead of spending all the time looking for what I wanted to do, how I wanted it to look, etc. Okay, so we're going to stop right there and I'm going to add just some Nouveau drops, which are just basically like, and I am at the end of this white, I need to get some more, kind of like uh, liquid enamel dots. Add those, especially in the purple part. And just as a highlight to what I've already got going on. This is just a simple way to add some texture. there you have it very simple clean straightforward layout using our stargazer collection and some simple stickers thank you so much for joining me tonight keep your eye out for more scrapbooking 101 videos and be sure to head over to my channel if you want to see more of what i did with this sketch just search for scrapping with christine on youtube and you will find 10 other videos using this sketch thanks so much everybody have a great weekend